Hello everyone and welcome to my studio. It's a messy hair right now because I'm actually in the process of making a new workbench. And I plan to put out a series of video on that, so I hope you'll join me for those. But today the question is, what is the simplest and most efficient way of making a dovetail? And the answer is with one single layout line. Now I learned this technique by watching a Chinese master and I left a link in the description to his video. And one of the major differences between his video and mine is that he uses a mitered corner for his dovetail, which is very standard for traditional Chinese woodworking. And I'm going to use a, um, a lapped corner for my dovetail. So let me go ahead and show you how to make dovetails with one single layout line. Um, I just did it. <laughs> so I've got two pieces of wood here. As you can see, there's no marking at the top here. Anywhere like that, or the side, or the other side. Okay. Indicate it, one side I want to be out, one side I want to be in. So I'm going to take this, and I have a depth gauge here set. I'm just going to mark this one single line. Start with this one. Sure, why not? Okay, and I'm cutting the pin side here, and the angle of the pin doesn't matter, it's whatever you like. And how you space the pin doesn't matter, it's whatever you like. But I am going to use the pins as a sort of a template to guide me to cutting the tail side of this dovetail. Take the other one here, the other piece, put it on like that. I've aligned the tail piece up against the marking gauge line that I had made. I'm going to cut the tails using the pins. I'm aligning my saw to the outer edge of the pin. And then visually, I'm going to follow that the angle towards the inner corner of the pin. This cut is offset by the thickness of the kerf. Otherwise, the tail side will be too small for the pin side. And if that sounds confusing to you, um, I have a graphical illustration of what I'm talking about at the end of this video. Adjust the camera. Clean this up a bit. Thank you. 
see how this is going to fit. So outside, outside here. And not bad. It's not bad at all, I don't think. So you can see that. I think if I clean this up a bit. It's a bit of a crud in here. The time it's just like one little piece that just tiny little thing sticking off the tail side that doesn't allow the pin or the pin side doesn't allow the tail to sit. There you go. I think if I give a, a quick planing, it's gonna be pretty good. The gap here is pretty good. One on this side. I think this is off from this angle. This is off by like one millimeter on the lineup here. But I think other than that, it's pretty good. All right, so I wanna show you how to align the saw. So here's the same marking gauge line that I had made earlier. Okay. And on both sides. And I'll label the outside for the tail side and outside for the pin side. So this is the side I cut up first. Now I've used these double lines here to show you where the saw kerf is. So this is the, the black part here that I'm gonna color in. So imagine this is the saw kerf and it's the thickness of these two lines. So line these out, the outside to the outside and I'm lining it towards the marking gauge line that I had made. So I'm lining up to this line here And this is where it gets kind of awkward. And now I need to determine where to start my saw. Okay. So the first part is I need to find out this corner here. All right, so where is that? So I'm taking my saw and I'm going to find the outer corner here. So my saw is now lined, lined up with the outer corner here. Okay, imagine that. And that's, so that's gonna mark the outer corner of my uh, tail side and the inner corner of the curve here. And if you imagine this as the tail, I'm going to join these two, two points. So now this is the one line of the tail. And on the top, it would look like a 90 degree angle. Okay. Now the problem is, these two are gonna line up like this. So this has gotta fit inside there. Okay, so here is that outer line again. 
If I put the saw on this side of that line, you will see that this whole part will be taken out. Okay. So you'll see that if I cut on this side of that line, I'm going to end up with a, uh, a tail side that is too small for the pin. So I actually have to shift the, the, um, the cut, cut position of the line out. So in this case, I think it's about, I made these curves about one eighth of an inch. So I'll just shift out one eighth of an inch here. So I'm actually starting my cut right here and cutting down this way. And remember, now if we put these back together like this, you'll see that the pin side where I've cut out, so this will all be removed, plus the curve here, and this, this part here, right? And so all of this side will be removed, and now the tail will fit into the pin nice and tight. Well guys, if you're still a little confused, that's okay. I had to watch the master's video six times. Even after that, I was still a little confused. But after I tried it once, the principle of the technique became clear to me. So I hope you give this a try, and I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you next time.